Hello guys and welcome to the channel. Today in this video I will be showing how to install Linux Mint step by step for the beginners. We will go through all the steps so you will know how to install Linux Mint from start to finish. So without further ado let's get started and before we start if you're new to the channel please take a second to click the subscribe button. Also if you find this video helpful give it a like and if you have any comments or questions drop them down in the comment section below. All right let's get started. Okay, so the first step, what you need to do, you need to download the ISO for the Linux Mint image. And for that, you just got to open up any browser, then go to the search field and type Linux Mint, then press enter. Any search browser should bring you to the official website, which is linuxmint.com. So just got to press on it. When you open up Linux Mint website, first you need to download the ISO image of Linux Mint. For that you just gotta click on this download button and as you can see here there are a few different editions of linux mint i'm just gonna go with the most popular cinnamon edition but the installation process will be similar so don't worry if you choose another edition you can still use this guide okay let's go ahead and click on the download button so just scroll down as you can see there's a lot of locations you can choose from so depending where you live you can choose the closest location to you and then it will be faster for download. I'm just going to choose the first one here. Then you just got to choose the location where you want to save it. I'm just going to save it to the downloads and click save. As you can see, the download has started. I'm just going to click here. So it says it's going to be two minutes for the download. So I'm just going to fast forward it until it's complete. And then we're going to continue. Okay, so the download is complete. Let's go to the next step. And the next step is going to be we need to download a program that we can flash this image onto the USB stick. For that, we're going to be using a Balena Etcher. So all you have to do, just go to the browser again and then type in Balena Etcher. And Balena Etcher is a software that allows you to write an image such as ISO to the USB stick. And it is mostly used for Linux images. So the website is going to be called etcher.balena.io. So just click on it. The next step, just click on the download. And here you can choose for which operating system you want to download it for. So let's go ahead and download this portable one. Just click on the download button. And again, we're going to choose the location where we want to download it. And we're going to save it to the downloads and press save. All right, it's already saved. The next step, what we're going to do, we're going to flash the ISO to the USB stick. So the Linux Mint ISO that we have already downloaded, this one here, we got to flash it to the USB stick using this program. And for that, we're going to need at least a four gigabyte USB stick. So go ahead and plug in the USB stick to your computer. Go ahead and start Balena Etcher. Let's minimize this window here. Okay, so now Balena Etcher has started. First, you need to choose the file you want to flash. And the file that you want to flash is going to be the ISO that we have just downloaded, which is going to be in the downloads. And this is going to be the Linux Mint 21.2 Cinnamon 64-bit. So just click on it and click open. Now you need to select the target, which is going to be the USB stick that we're going to be using to flash this ISO. Then select target. And as you can see, I only have one USB stick available. So we're just going to choose it and then click select. And also another tip, before you flash the ISO to this USB stick, make sure that there is no important files on your USB stick because once you flash the ISO, it will format the USB stick and all the files will be removed from the USB stick. After that, go ahead and click flash. There we go. So the flash has started. It's probably going to take a few minutes before it's done, depending on how fast your computer is. So the image is already finished flashing. Now it's validating the image and we're almost done. Okay, so now when we flash this ISO onto this USB stick, let's go ahead and close this program. So you get to safely remove it because if you don't safely remove the USB stick, sometimes it can cause problems with your USB stick and you won't be able to use them later. So safely remove it first. And now when it's ready to be removed, you can pull it out. Go ahead and plug in the USB to the computer that you're going to be installing Linux Mint on. Then go ahead and power on the computer or laptop. And if it doesn't start loading to the USB stick and, for example, it starts loading to the operating system that you currently have on your laptop or PC, 
Then what you can try to do, you can try to press different key combinations depending on what laptop or computer you have. You can try this combination such as F2, F7, F8, F12, Delete, Tap or Escape. It all depends on different manufacturers. They assign different key combinations to enter the boot device menu. Depending on what computer you have, there might be different keys. So hopefully one of these keys will work for you. Once we get loaded from the USB stick, we gotta choose Start Linux Mint 21.2 Cinnamon 64-bit. So the first option from this boot menu and then press enter. It's gonna start loading Linux Mint from the USB stick. So basically, if you're looking to get a USB stick that you can take with you anywhere you go and you're gonna have an operating system on that USB stick, we all done. You got this USB stick. Now you can use it on pretty much any computer you have and you have the operating system on this USB sticks. But one minor disadvantage of this option is that everything you do on the USB stick is not saved. So every time you restart the computer, everything will be gone and you're gonna have to start again from scratch. But if you wanna go ahead and continue and permanently install Linux Mint on your laptop or computer, this is gonna be the next step and we're gonna proceed with the full installation of Linux Mint on the computer. Okay, so to start the installation process, we need to just click on this icon over here in the top left corner, install Linux Mint, just double click on it. This will allow you to do a permanent installation of Linux Mint on your laptop or computer. Just gotta wait till it loads up. And there we go. So the first step, we gotta choose the interface language that we wanna use. I'm just gonna choose English and press continue, but you can choose any other language that you like. The next step is gonna be your keyboard layout. I'm also going to stick to English keyboard layout, but you can also choose a different keyboard layout or you can add another keyboard if you like, but you can change it later as well. So I'm just going to stick with only one keyboard right now and press continue. Okay, so the next step is very important. It's called the multimedia codex. You can skip this step and just press continue, but I'd highly recommend that you install multimedia codex because then everything will be working right out of the box and you don't have to do all the installation later. But to do that, you're gonna need internet connection. So you can either use a wire connection or you connect to the Wi-Fi. I have already connected to the Wi-Fi over here. To do that, you just gotta click on the bottom right corner. There's an icon for the internet and you gotta choose your wireless network. If you don't have a wired connection, and then once you click on it, enter your password and click connect. So this is very simple. I already have it connected. And I will also highlight install multimedia codecs. Then another important step is gonna be the configure secure boot. This is a password that's gonna allow you to authorize any installation for the third party software and drivers. And I highly recommend installing the password as well because you're gonna need it at the later point. And if you don't install it, you won't be able to install any third party drivers. And a lot of graphic drivers and Wi-Fi drivers, they're proprietary and you're gonna need to download them from like, let's say Nvidia or AMD. So make sure to set up this password as well and then press continue. Okay, so this step is gonna allow us to choose the installation type. So you can either decide to erase the whole disk and install Linux Mint, or you can do something else. Something else means you can install it alongside with other operating system. For example, if you already have Windows, installed on your computer you can also install linux mint alongside with windows also this option something else will allow you to choose a specific partition you want to install linux but in this case we're not going to do that and actually i already have another video how to install linux mint alongside with windows so if you want to check it out i'm going to put a link in the description so make sure to check it out if you like in this case, I just want to do a complete installation of, of only Linux. I don't want any windows on this laptop. So I'll just do a clean installation of Linux Mint. That's it. But as you can see, it says warning. This will delete all your programs, documents, photos, music, everything from the disk. So if you're installing it over an existing operating system, make sure you have already copied everything before you start this process. Otherwise, it will delete all these files and then you won't be able to recover them. So right now it's all ready to go. Let's go ahead and click install now. As you can see, there is a warning that's saying that everything will be removed on the computer if you continue. So make sure that there is no important data on the computer that you need. Copy it before you proceed with this installation. Otherwise, it will be absolutely gone. So I don't really have anything important saved there. So I can go ahead and delete it and just press continue. Then you need to create a name for your computer. Let's go ahead and call it 
Valsar Tech, and then it automatically created the computer name. And we also need to create a password. You can choose to log in automatically, or you can choose to require the password every time you log in, and you can even encrypt the home folder. I'm just gonna choose login automatically so it doesn't require the password every time I log in and press continue. There you go, the installation has started, so we'll just wait until it's finished and then we can check it out. The installation might be taking about five minutes, so it shouldn't be very long. But of course, depending on what computer you have, it might be taking longer, so we'll see how long it will take. I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward it to the end so we can see once it's finished. There we go, so the installation is complete. We're gonna need to restart it, and then we can start loading not from the USB stick, but from the computer itself. So you need to go ahead and remove the USB stick right now. And after that, go ahead and press enter. And there we go, so Linux has started loading. All right, there we go, so Linux Mint is installed, and this is our welcome screen where we can get some first step customize Linux Mint a little bit. So yeah, this is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like it, of course, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more interesting, helpful videos for Linux. And then if you have any comments, questions, of course, drop them down in the comment section below. I'll be happy to read those comments and help you if I can. But this is it for now. I hope you have a nice day. See you soon. Bye-bye.